going on, adventurers? Hey, adventurers. We are so very excited about this video. We have been watching Patty and the GT and Paranormal Investigators for probably maybe a year. Yeah, probably about a year. Probably about a year now. And I have to admit, I was super excited when I finally got to meet Beth, her haunted doll. I mean, it's exciting. I'm sorry. It is she's exciting. she's like life size of like a what five year old maybe. Like probably this tall. Yeah, I was impressed how large she is. Probably like up to here. What's that? Three feet? Yeah, I'd say three feet in. About three feet. About th she's about three feet tall. Pretty heavy, right? Yeah, and her clothes and her shoes, all the intricate detailing, like her clothes, her shoes, her purse. Um, sweater. Yeah, everything is just like, I, you know, the thing that is driving me crazy is I want to know where she came from. I want to know what her history is. I've never seen a doll like that before, ever. Well, I think Patty said she did find her at a church, like a right. flea market or some type, type of thing um, is where she actually right. found her. My question is though, where did she originally right. come from? That's a beautiful Yeah, doll. Patty. Patty did say she did find her, I think it was like a flea market or a bazaar at a church, a local church mm -hmm. in um, Spring Hill. And other than that, she really didn't have any history about her. Yeah. But she will, in the video, she will tell you some of the things that she's done. And she did something exciting for us that you guys are going to get to see. So awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. Honestly, I can't wait, Patty. I cannot wait to spend a little bit more time with Beth next time we see you guys. So it's so weird because Patty has her in a lot of her videos in different circumstances, different environments. Right. And for a doll, that's just a doll. And literally, we got to see the doll so close up. Like her eyes do not have working eyelashes or eye pupils. It's just yeah, guys. Her eyes are fixed. Six. Like 100%. I would say, what is it like painted or whatever? Yeah, like, they're painted, it painted. looks like. Yep. So we got to see really up close, which you can't always tell in a video, but it's true. They were just, they're just painted along. <laughs> and you know what was creepy? They almost looked bloodshot. Yes, we did get up close. We were super up close, so you guys are going to get yeah, to see that. We were asking Patty about that a little bit. And then um, the hair is like, oh, it's pretty. I was saying it's like kind of like a synthetic hair. Yeah. And it's so pretty and has a braid on one side. Which she's, is in the, she's in the braid club. So I think she liked, maybe she liked her braids. I don't know. <laughs> she seemed pretty content, like very friendly. I got that. Yeah, I got nothing but good vibes from I got her. good vibes. And I'm usually pretty sensitive. Mm -hmm. Like if there's something that's less than, you know, kosher around, right. I usually can feel it. So. And she seemed to be. Um, I don't know how you say not attached, but like she just seems to like Patty. Like she loves she Patty. She loves Patty. Like, you can feel it. I don't know. It just there's certain things she did. And I don't know what it is. Like it's a doll, okay? But it's weird. It just has this other sense of I don't know whatever persona. Yeah, I definitely picked up on like a protective vibe. Protective. From her. Yeah. Protective. Yeah. Protective. And I want to stick with Patty type vibe. Yeah. Um, things like that. Patty even asked her a couple questions. Yeah. During the video, awesome. and she responded. We're not going to say how she responded. You guys yeah. got to watch the video and see. So awesome! And let us know in the comments what you think about that because we thought that was so awesome. And like I said, we can't wait to hang out with her again. I know. And we are making plans with Patty. We're going to see Patty again in the near future. So yay! Yeah. More Raptor Adventures and G Team Paranormal videos coming your way. And I will say. Patty gave us the courage to that Spring Hill Cemetery, Ugh. which we never would have done, especially in the dark, alone. Yeah. So, it takes a lot to scare me. It was encouraging and to have her. I, I was feeling nervous, but you guys, I know we haven't really, we're going to do a live stream soon. I know we were supposed to do it the other day and just things got crazy. Um, but we're going to do a live stream, like Q&A with you guys and feel free to ask us any questions. We are feeling very blessed because something warned us no. to get out of that cemetery that night. Okay, that and was crazy. I really feel like our lives were in danger. You know, looking back and it's like, 
I don't know, like I said, I, I mean, it was creepy in the cemetery and I, I could feel some things around me, but it didn't really feel threatening until that one moment. It was weird because like, if you look back, and you watch the light post or the light yes. when the light came on the light. and then you watch that spirit and it, it manifests itself and becomes a full on apparition um, right after that light went out and that thing disappeared which we did not see while mm. it was there because we chills thinking of it um, uh -huh. that was when I felt like we had to get out and if you pay close attention you can actually see that apparition wave to us yes and it makes me wonder this might be way off base I don't know but it makes me wonder, was that Michael Telefero? And the reason I'm asking that is because not too long before that happened, like it, it was only a couple minutes before that happened, I asked Patty where Michael Telefero was buried. And for those of you that don't know, Michael Telefero is an actor, was an actor, um, and he was actually in the movie Life with Eddie, Mur Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, which I love that movie. If you guys have not seen that movie, it's hilarious. These guys were bootleggers and... Uh, Martin and Eddie Murphy's character. Oh, it's, called something. it's called Life. Oh, Life. Okay. Yeah, life. and um, Martin's character and Eddie's character ended up getting caught and locked up. And you have to see Michael Telefero was in prison with them. But man, it was a really good and movie. It's so interesting that he would be buried there in that. Yeah. It's a very, I would say, remote. Oh, ish yeah. location and I don't know did they see a family he must have he must have family, family in the area yeah so what's the chances of that okay. not very likely <laughs> I wouldn't think and then to see somebody waving yeah so that's the thing so anyway we, I was asking Patty um, about Michael Telefero I was like where is his grave because I had heard that he was there but Lisa and I had been there one time previously during the day and I couldn't find his grave so Patty's like oh he's back there in the back which was near the light post, yes. incidentally. And I was it just was like, off. It was off at the time. Originally. And I just said, jokingly, I was like, oh, hi, Michael. Yeah, you raised your arm. You know, yeah. I raised my arm and waved. But if you pay close attention, guys, you will see that apparition at the end, right before the light went out, raised its arm very slowly. So if you did not see that, please go back in the last video um, that we did with Patty. And it's not the last video, it's the one before that. Spring Hill it's, Cemetery. Yeah. yeah. The Spring Hill Cemetery, it came out of the ground. Um, and if you didn't see that, if you watched the video and you didn't see the spirit coming out of the ground mm. right in front of Patty, <laughs> you guys got to see that too, because that was so crazy. Really creepy stuff back there. <laughs> and we didn't... I'm trying to think, did we actually see that happen? We saw some fo what looked like fog because it happened yes. so fast. Yeah, fog. That's but when I slowed it down, right. I was like, holy smokes. That fog has a face. Yeah. And it looked like it basically rose up out of the ground, guys. And then it turned. Let's see. Patty was here. It turned away from her. It turned to its right. And literally the face fell off. It was so bizarre. Yeah. And prior to this, we were believers. Like, we've always believed in, you know, the paranormal, paranormal realm. You know, very spiritual people. Mm -hmm. But to actually experience it for yourself is a whole nother level. So, and they say a lot of strange things happen back there. Other people have stories. So, <laughs> okay, it's just oh, like the car wow. situation. Poor thing. So, let, can we talk about the car situation for a second? Yeah. I'm still re rewinding that in my brain. I just, it's crazy. You know, we got a little bit spooked because we thought it was maybe the cops. So, which was it wouldn't have been a problem because we were actually. Outside the cemetery, okay. Yeah, we, we were next just, to the main road. Right. right. We weren't back in the cemetery, okay. However, you know, you just it's dark and you don't know who's approaching. Yeah, I mean, you just you know, it's. I mean, we were just in a dark cemetery, so of course we're already on edge. <laughs> we're like, yeah. Um, but you know, every time a car would come by, we would turn off the light, the dome lights, just yeah. so so as not to draw attention to right. ourselves. But the thing is, this car, it looked like it was going to pass us, as the, there were two other cars previously. That had just driven right yeah, past us. Normal. You know. Like what, 40 mile an hour? Yeah, it's about 40 road. miles an hour probably yeah, there. Black top, two lane. Yeah. yeah. Right. So they just went right past it. We're like, okay, we'll just turn off the dome lights again. And um, when they started to get closer, they, they turned in like right at us. Like it, they had never stopped 100%. All right, they're they were standing still on. rolling at us. And then they turned out their headlights and were like, what is happening here? 
first of all, if it was a cop, they would have turned on their blue lights. And, yeah, there were you know, no cop lights. On yeah, there. they didn't blue light us. It was a, there. what, like a four-door type car. I couldn't even see what kind of I car I mean, it was, was a car. It wasn't an SUV. It was a car. It was, yeah, it was a car. And the other weird thing, if it's a regular car, if I was in a regular car, I wouldn't have cut across where they did. There was actually a little gravel semicircle, which we came in, which you do use to approach where the cemetery sign is. Right. Instead of that, they passed the entrance of the gravel road, came up, and then there was a grass area, which, I'm sorry, at night, you can't tell if that was a ditch. You couldn't tell if it was something a car would get stuck in. Right. And they came through the grass. They I mean, you have to be half crazy. Yeah, then. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that either. I wouldn't do it in my SUV. No, I wouldn't do my SUV. You don't know if there was a ditch or a hole, whatever. And they just came barreling, like, very aggressively, like a T-bone angle, I call it. Yeah, they would have T-boned us. Yeah. Had we not moved, right. they would have T-boned us. They would have us. So we just basically gunned it out the semicircle, the gravel road where normal people drive, and back to That was our getaway driver right there. Yes, I was there. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> she said, screw! <laughs> not engaging tonight with whoever that is. Okay, but here's the crazy thing, guys. I got more than one comment on the video that people believed it was a phantom car. Could have been. Yeah, because I've heard stories. If you all go back into um, Patty's videos, apparently she had an experience previously, mm. and that actually was with a police officer. So you guys go and check out G Team Paranormal. I'm going to put a link below this video so you guys can go check them out. Mm -hmm. If you're not already subscribed to them, please do so. Um, they're great people. Very great people. Oh. But they experienced some really, apparently people have had freaky things like this. But I mean, it's not uncommon, but when it happens to you, <laughs> it's pretty, and it just like, it, for all of us, it keeps replaying in our mind. Like, yeah, like I just, I wish I would have filmed more. And I, yeah. <laughs> I had this crazy thought. I'm like, if it was a phantom car, would it have just gone through our car? Right. I mean, you I have never crazy... see people in there. I mean, I couldn't. No, see I couldn't see anybody in there. And that was kind of weird too, because you know, it was just. You know, it was bizarre. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. I mean, who does that? Right. You know, here's the thing too. You know, for those of you that are not from Florida, mm -hmm. in Florida everybody's packing. So, for somebody to roll up on a car, and even like Patty said, you know, our car is a big blacked out like darkest tinted windows you can get Denali okay and it's a ex it's the extended and the version. lights were out inside we turned all the yeah, lights out there were no lights it's no really lights. dark in there for them to be that aggressive in a state where everybody carries a handgun mm -hmm. that's just and their car smaller it just there. doesn't fit it, it doesn't fit yeah and it was after dark you know it was late it was after dark it was there's no way I ever would have done it to anybody we came back through I mean it was at least how much minutes 10 minutes later mm -hmm. And the car was gone. I mean, they could have gone back. Well, they went into the cemetery. Oh, that's right. It went into the cemetery. Right. It did go in the cemetery. But when we came back, there was no sign of it, which we, of course, were not going back in the cemetery. But here's the thing. I don't see any tire tracks. Here's the thing, though. Okay. So even if they did go, like, let's just say they, let's just say they were doing the same thing we were. Okay. Let's say that they were paranormal investigators okay. and they were going to go back there and see what they could find. Okay. Let's just say that that was the case. Why would they pull up on somebody so aggressively, knowing that they're probably not supposed to be there in the first place? Right. right. Don't you think they would have just driven by right. and then came back later? Good point. Right. Just right. keep going and like, oh well, somebody's there. Let's keep going because we don't want to get basically it's we don't want to get in trouble. Type thinking. Here's the other thing that's really interesting to me that I'm wondering. So, any of you guys that are from Florida that may know the answer to this, I would love to know the answer. But at some point, I bet you that. There wasn't a semicircle entrance to the cemetery, okay? At some point, probably. At some point, there probably wasn't. If it was a ghost car, okay. they wouldn't know okay. about that, okay. right? Okay. Especially it's a... Like, they'd just be wanting to go ahead and directly, like, take a straight shot yes. on the road. Yes, that's what I'm saying. saying. Maybe it, Because it they were used... lined up with the road that did go back. You're right. right, to the, the gravel yeah, road. Yeah, they had pulled up enough, they were lined up. Right. Ooh, give me more chill. <laughs> It just creeps you out the whole thing. I don't know. You just kind of keep playing it in your head and trying to figure out what happened, yeah, you know? So, so, so I don't know. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video with Beth. And like I said, we're going to go live sometime here in the near future. Probably this weekend. Possibly even Friday. After you guys get all your good Black Friday shopping. 
maybe we'll um we'll definitely post it we'll post it on twitter so if you're not following us on twitter it's at raptor adventure one a d v e n t u r one enjoy the pet video pay close attention <laughs> let us know what you guys think i actually posted a it was a picture um but for we have like this feature on our phone you guys probably have it too and it's called like you hit it for motion and i think i don't know if it records before or after a little bit of both I'm not sure how it works, but it records a little bit either before or after the mm -hmm. picture and that was how i caught her moving her head so and you guys i talked to patty the night it happened no i think it was the night after it happened and i was like reviewing my pictures and i was like oh i gotta ask patty about this because she was standing right next to beth and as I was getting in for the picture, you know, squeezing in for the picture, uh, Patty was over here, Beth was in between us. So I kind of like tilted my head in and right after I did it, Beth tilted her head in towards Patty. So it was almost and like she was getting in subtle. for the picture. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. And kind of like, okay, I'm gonna demonstrate. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what she It's did. not like this or this or this. It was just, it's a very, which I think on some of Patty's live videos or her other videos, you can see the same. Yeah. It's just a very subtle. And just from looking at the doll, Jen and I looked at her, really to move her head, I mean, yes, the head is separate. You know, it's not glued. Tight. It's articulated. It's articulated. However, to move the head, like Patty was showing us the doll, you really did have to, she had to put a little effort into it. I mean, it. both hands. Both hands. Turn. Turn. Right. It wasn't like... It wasn't like so loose you could just no. barely touch it. It wasn't like And that. here's the thing. Had, had, had Patty bumped into her, I believe her head probably would have gone the other way. But, mm -hmm. you know, the articulation, it's pretty tight. Like, you can't just, mm -hmm. like, tap her and her head will move. I mean, it's, no. she's, you know. And the whole body didn't move. I would think if you bumped the doll, the whole body. The whole thing would fall over. Right. It wasn't like that. It was like the head moved separately. So yeah. uh, that's what I was looking to. I'm like, well, maybe Patty bumped it. But even if she did, it you. I really don't think you would have got that kind of a very subtle, very gentle head movement. Draw your own conclusions. Draw your own conclusions. <laughs> Leave some comments for us in the comments section. We want to know what you guys think. I truly believe she moved. I too. A hundred percent, wholeheartedly. I heard it over. Yeah, we've, 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 we've watched it like a hundred times. Yeah. And, uh, that's it's a, I don't know, just yeah. I mean, inquiring minds want to know. Inquiring minds <laughs> do want to know and. That's what we think. So check out the video. Let us know what you think. Check it out, guys. This is Beth. This is Patty's haunted doll. Yep, this is my haunted doll. She is pretty awesome. We've seen some videos of her where she actually moves her head. And um, Patty's had some spirit box sessions with her, and she's very talkative. Mm -hmm. So and you can contest to the fact that her eyes do not—they're yes. not functionable they're eyes, but they have moved on camera. We have yeah, seen they, the eyes move. They do not have any moving parts at right. all. Not at no. all. No, they're fixed. Like mm -hmm. literally, there's nothing. Ouch! To, there's <laughs> nothing. There's nothing to blink here. Nothing. Right. No. People have seen her eyes blink, um, move, her head's moved, uh, her foot's moved, her arm's moved. I mean, she's just moved several times. I think she just That's has amazing. an attachment, but I don't think it's anything evil. I think no. it's, it's a good feel... spirit. And I like how she's rocking a braid. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Braid. That's she's unusual. She's in the braid club. That's an unusual hairstyle. Her lips look a little... Yeah, like pale. Something's in there. What? What? What well, looks like blood? We like dried up blood. Oh. I didn't notice that before. It's almost like somebody, maybe somebody tried to put lipstick on her, but I don't oh. think so. Yeah, it's peeling her. That's well, weird. Yeah. weird. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Huh. Beth, Did can she you turn have your head? Marks and all too. No, no not always. Um, I don't think. Well, yeah, I don't think that one was always there. I'm not sure what that's from. But this here, her hair is her hair is extremely hard to brush because yeah, when you feel a, it, the texture yeah, of it. I mean, it, it like I've I, tried to brush it. It's just yeah, been very difficult. Yeah. Have you tried conditioner or anything? I haven't. I don't know if you idea. can. I don't know. Maybe a spray doll conditioner. Yeah, maybe you should know. talk to like a doll person. Maybe yeah, they could help know. you. Mm -hmm. 
restoration type. Man, she is just like her outfit really and her shoes. Like all the way down. Look at the beautiful shoes that she's wearing. These little boots are so cute. Did that purse came with her? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Purse came with her. The sweater. I have a necklace. Um, it's at home. I have a necklace that we let her wear. Nice. It's got a sewn on it. My friend yeah. Karen sent me a necklace. Um, it's got a crystal on it. Up. Oh. But it's at the house. Yeah, and looking at like how would that move? Like normally, that's mm -hmm. okay. No. So her, the only thing that's articulate, I mean, are her, you said her head's on a swivel, but her arms. Look at her purse moving. Is there wind oh, out here? Moving. No, not that much. I see it moving. <gasps> Just stopped. I see that. I see it was it. actually moving. I saw it, I got it on the I did too. Video. It Whoa. was moving, both were moving. Uh-huh. There's no wind out here. No. Because the trees are still, I'm looking at. Has she ever walked? Well, like, have you seen we her? didn't catch her on camera walking, but one time, I, I did a video about this too, it's on my channel. We, um, I found something that had been missing for a long time, some paperwork. And uh, that, I had been looking for it for a couple days. Well, that morning I went out in the garage and she was standing there, staring into a box like this. So I was like, who moved my doll over there by that box? I didn't think a whole lot of it. I, I just thought it was weird. Right. But then later, Long story short, later I found the stuff I was missing in that box. No kidding. No kidding. It's like she found it for me. That's awesome. So she went from one side of the garage over to the other side where this box was and was looking in the Whoa. box. And that's what made me look in that box. And that's chills. how I found the items I was missing. Wow. She's your helper. She, mm -hmm. Yeah, she seems like she's definitely like, she loves you. It's weird. Yeah, I feel, look at the dress I moving. feel it too. Yeah. Oh, look. And, and her purse. purse. Just in that one area, yeah. look. Yes. She's happy. She's like, yes, I'm going back home. Okay, but not, like her hair is not blowing or anything. So no. Like, it's not wind. Mm -mm. That's pretty crazy. Ready to go home? Move the purse again if you're ready to go home. Look. Oh my God. And I'm not even filming this. I'm so glad you are. <laughs> yeah. Did she ever do that before? The no. I mean, I've seen it yeah. move, but I never really asked the I question. And had it now you can do that. Now you can ask her. You ready to go? Take That's your purse crazy. and go. Well, it was nice to meet you, Beth. You're beautiful. Oh, she's really beautiful. It's, yeah. Look. Did you see her arm move or anything when that happened? No. Just the dress and that purse. You never know, the side. camera might pick it up and maybe her arm did move. I, I might someone have. said they saw her arm move before something. and everything. All right, I'm going to put you back in the car. Are you ready? Shake the purse. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Right? That's cool. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.